it's Trish. I am here going to try something new. As you can see, I've got a bunch of different weird things here. And I figured I'm going to start my own little series. I guess I'm going to call it a poor onathon. Um, we'll see what happens. I figured I'd do some experimenting. Kind of inspired by both Fiona R and Mixed Media Girl, um, who are the two that I see a lot pouring on top of stuff. So right now I've got nine pieces, um, you know, some ceramic, some glass, some pieces of dog toys that my dogs decided they were going to completely rip apart and some I want to say this is like a pot holder type thing and I'm not positive but hey why not they've got the lines which could create some cool designs um I literally just found this sorry my hands are all nasty <laughs> um and I figured that might create something cool this was a strainer piece to one of those like uh tv dinners that has a sauce on the bottom you heat it up and then you dump the chicken and broccoli or whatever in i figured if i said it like this hey that might be cool too i mean you never know some stuff from the dollar store candle holders why not see what happens and this isn't the canvas i'm going to use for this i'm actually going to use this hexagon stretch canvas by master's touch uh you can get these at hobby lobby 5.99 a piece but when they have their 50 percent off sale which is twice a month i believe you know three dollar canvas why not they're they're pretty decent especially for kind of practice and things and works good for me um next i am going to use these colors here which, excuse the mess, I actually was just cleaning. Oh, and my frozen coffee. I These are all mixed custom colors, basically leftovers. Uh, not really anything specific. Like, I think this was lightened dioxazine purple. And I want to say I threw in some silver. I'm not positive. But this is kind of like my own Payne's Gray, I guess you could call it mixed with charcoal black obsidian uh want to say that i yes i just did put some brilliant blue from artist loft um and this is kind of how it started it was really dark as you can see almost black gray um we have some what i want to say started out as an aqua green and I added, I want to say a touch of emerald, which I don't have the bottle with me here, and some white, and just kind of did my own thing with it. Like I said, these are all leftovers, so, you know, why not, right? This is, I want to say, a mix between phthalo green, turquoise green, and I want to say there's a metallic in there, too. And then this is just a light blue... Yeah, just light blue. Actually, I'm not really sure. It might have been a sky blue and some white. And this is a mix of a bunch of different pinks. It actually started off as a light pink that I made from, I want to say, it was from a already custom mix. So, no name on it, because this is just a bunch of mixes, runoff, whatever you want to call it. And I added some white to it to lighten it up kind of get in a nice little uh I, I don't know what you call that a very light color palette so I did throw in the two darker ones but still pretty light anything that I lightened with white which I want to say is pretty much everything except for that turquoise green is mixed with this which is a um artist loft this is the I want to say Yep, Flow Acrylic. Um, I think the brand name has changed. I know a lot of people are having some issues with the overload of cells and such. But I haven't really had any crazy issues with it. So, And I wanted to real quick. This was also, I added, I can never say this word, Quanacridome <laughs> Magenta. There you go. I think I said that right. 
And so, yeah. And then this is a light blue mix that I'll be using kind of like as a base for flow extender, whatnot. I have never done a bottom bottle pour. This is slightly thinner. And so this is going to be all new to me. But I figured, hey, why not? New year, new things to try. So why don't we go ahead and start uh, my little pour on a -thon. See you soon. Alrighty, peeps, we are set up and ready to go. I decided I was going to use this piece. My hands are really painted on. I've been mixing. Um, this is a candle holder. I believe it's a ceramic. I mean, it's kind of heavy um, for a tea light. And I saw this and I thought, hey, why not? It's got some cool designs and... I thought some of these ridges would make some cool effects, almost like a bottom bottle pour. Say that 10 times fast. And so I thought that would be cool. I myself do not own one of the actual uh, tools, um, but I know you can for sure get them online, Mixed Media Girl. Um, and yeah, uh, so I thought, hey, why not improvise? I did take the sticker off the back and kind of rub that down a little bit just because I don't want any little pieces of paper in my paint. Although my paint has been sitting for a little while, I've kind of mixed up, you know, added a little bit more of this, added a little more of that. But um, so hopefully it'll go okay. It's just a test piece. We'll see what happens, and I'll know better for the next time if there's any issues. Um, so I got my canvas ready and set up. I set them on these cute little stands, which are, if I could, I probably would have to show you another time, but they're actually pieces from a game. It came on this. It's... If anybody knows what that is, Cairo 5, I, I mean, I've never heard of it before, but hey, I saw them at my Martin's, which is a local, um, almost like a bargain store, I guess you would call it. Um, so I've got a bunch of those. I think they were like $2.99 a piece and they come with a whole row of them and they work really, really well for stands paint goes in, you know, and out and you don't have something that you have to completely clean off because you can reuse okay now i am going to put you up on top and we are going to get going i did want to mention real quick that i have this really weird looking spray bottle apparently uh i set something on top of that and i take this and as most most of you all who have been doing this for a while may already know this but i spray the back of my canvases Especially if you plan on doing something um, with a bit of paint. Uh, with my Dutch pours, you know, if it's a bigger canvas, I'll spray them. If it's little and it already seems okay out of package, sometimes I won't do it. But considering this is this is pretty heavy, um, maybe I'll weigh it and let you guys know. I knew it was going to sag a little bit because it does have to sit there for a couple minutes um, while the paint runs off, drips, and then I have to pluck that off. And hey, I might just keep the paint on it and give it away to somebody if it doesn't work or I'll keep using it. We'll see. Experimenting. So I will put you up on top and we will try this out. Alrighty peeps. We are set up and ready to go. I'm a little slow here. Sorry I had to take a minute and help take care of my dogs while I was hopefully was was supposed to be just taking a quick second to go get a drink but you know that never happens anyway so here we go we've got the piece down and ready to go um i've got the canvas is level i did check to make sure that all of my edges are level um although i will be moving the canvas to another spot which i prepared and made sure that that area was level as well. I don't have a whole lot of room on this table. Um, it's quite the mess. I honestly haven't really done much with it since well before the holidays. So I figured, hey, why not jump in, you know, full throttle here. So, okay, we have got all our paints mixed and ready to go. So I have this little cup. I am not sure 
It says 200 cc. Honestly, I'm having a brain cramp here. Not really sure, but I figured layering that maybe once would be plenty. I am still myself learning how much paint to size canvas. So if it's not enough, we'll layer it again. No biggie. So I have all my colors ready to go. And I am not positive consistency wise as far as I know every different, you know, everything's different. And, you know, oh, shaking your camera here. We will see how it goes. I am going to try to place these in a way where everybody can still watch me do what I need to do with it, but I can get to it. So I have the green tones, uh, a pink, a purple, and my little mixture of, like I said, I'm calling it a little bit like a, a Payne's Gray. The Payne's Gray that I actually have is not really um, as light. I did add white to it because I wanted it to be a little lighter to kind of go with the, uh, the color tone that I have here for the palette. This is Master's Touch Payne's Gray, but that is a complete custom, and this is a lot darker. And I know um, some brands are lighter. Some brands have more of a blue tone. Some of them have more of a, almost like a more of a black, like a darker. Um, but so I just kind of mix this, and that's what I'm calling it is my light Payne's Gray. I am going to layer my cup, and then we will get started. Okay, here we go. I am going to kind of plop it on, I guess. And then once, I may not even need my um, light blue base blender, or I might stop this cup halfway through and do something extra. So we are going to get started right now. I'm not going to put any paint on this other than what's in my cup because I know looking at this that there's a good chance that I have a little too much. But, oops, throwing stuff. Now this is my layers. So as you can see, the dark color and the light color, it kind of uh, create some definition between the lighter colors, uh, contrast, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, technical terms has gone out the window once you press record. So here we go. Let's wish me luck. I am going to pour out the um, last wear paint in the cup. Sometimes like for my Christmas bulbs and stuff, I will pour out the side to get kind of more of a stripey look. But I think I'm okay with doing it this way. Um, figure my nasty hands and let's go. I'm just going to wiggle it around, try to get coverage. Oh, I might turn it around. Just wiggling that around. Oh, there's a good glob. That's okay. We will take care of it when it's time. Yeah, this is more of a floppy wiggle pour. I'm out of practice. Oh, that was a glob. The point of this video is just to kind of experiment, see what's going to happen with the paint um, on this ceramic uh, candle holder. So it's not necessarily what um, the finished product is as far as how bad of a pour I am doing because I'm having a little trouble talking and doing this at the same time, so give me one minute. <laughs> Oh, there goes my pretty pink. There you go. And I'm not a pink person, but I do want some of it. I'm just kind of changing my directions. Ring pour, but I call it my floppy ring. And there comes the rest of the dark color. I'm not really concerned too much about getting all of this paint out of here now because I know I layered the bottom with dark because it's the bottom of the piece that I may or may not keep or reuse. So that being said, let's see what we can do here. Practice makes perfect. No, not really. Alrighty then, whoa. No, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look how pretty that is. That's a pretty, pretty cup. Try not to drip it on the rest of it. All right. 
let's see what we can do here to make sure we are in focus. Oh, maybe. All right. We're going to give that a couple minutes, kind of let that kind of come off of that piece, and um, yeah, tilt this baby out. Okay, so that came out better than I expected. I did lose a lot of my pink. That's fine. I did pull off the candle holder, bottom, bottle, bottom, whatever you want to call that. I have given it a minute to kind of come to the center. Um, I do see globs. I will pick out off camera, but because there is a bit of paint on here, I don't see any issues. Um, they're creating their own little designs. Once I pluck them out, you know, why not? I might end up doing some finger dips. Um, I do have a balloon, but I don't have one of those little ones as Jilly Cube would say from Australia. Um, get a little balloon, fill a little bit of water and it can make some really cute designs. Um, I just haven't quite gotten that far. I'm usually a uh, Dutch pour, but lately it's been kind of experimenting. Ring pours are a new favorite, and swipes are a new favorite. We're giving this a minute to finish off. Sometimes I'll take the popsicle stick, and I'll just push down a little bit. And that way it'll all come together. Not too hard. I don't want to stretch the canvas out too much to the point where... It's going to cause any issues. We got a little flower bit going on there, and that's probably a drip from the candle holder that I am just now noticing. That is okay. I can take, like I said, a balloon or a finger dip or honestly, whatever you want to do. But I will deal with that after the fact. Um, it's pretty cute. I mean, it's not what I expected, but it is pretty cute. We've got some definition as I will come take you for a quick close up. Sorry for that noise and all my lights. Not bad. Purple is still there. Um, we do have a bit of paint on there. I'm still debating whether I want to do any kind of flow extender. I like to keep, um, you know, some of this purple here, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go with or without flow extender. So that's fine. Um, we do have some really pretty details not very this camera is not very cooperative today and look I have a little eyeball see that Here's the final product. I did pick some stuff out of there. Sorry for the lights. I can't really do much about that. But we definitely got some fairly decent definition. My favorite part is that right here and right here. colors I think worked well together um got a little muddy maybe over here in the between I'm not sure let me know what you think I did pull out some stuff which tends to happen as you can see right there but all in all for the first bottle bottom as well as using something that was not meant to be used as a bottle bottom uh let me know what you think? There's the middle. 
I haven't touched it. I don't think I will. I kind of like it. Kind of looks like a little flower or something in the middle there. Lily pad. I don't know. But a very calm painting. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I will put dry pictures up when this is done. Um, not positive. There's no more running, like the paint's not moving very much anymore, so it should be done within a couple days. Um, alright, see you guys then.